Hey guys, Josiah here. Just want to do another quick video to explain the uh, reclimb custom co-op column in Thinkorswim. Um, this will be available on our website and I'll put the link in the uh, description of this video below. Um, but just wanted to kind of explain how this works. Uh, and, and this is a custom column here. You can see on my sidebar watch list, I have a column called reclimb. I also have a couple more here. I have the pullback column. And basically, if you just hit right click and hit customize, you'll have a list of options here that you can double click and add to the um, to the columns over here. And just hit OK, and those will be applied, and they'll show up over here. You can also add these columns to your uh, Market Watch quote screen and your Scan uh, Stock Hacker screen. Uh, so they work in several different locations. Um, but the reclaim indicator is uh, something that's really good for someone that likes to trade uh, say high of day breakouts, late day breakouts, opening range breakouts, that kind of thing um, or uh, you know equally um, low of day breakdowns and so forth um, and essentially what what's being displayed here is the percent of the day's range that the stock has retraced or um, uh, reclimbed. Uh, so uh, I'm looking at uh, GDDY here um, and it's saying that we've reclimbed 79% of the day's range. And so you see here on the daily chart <clears throat> we're looking at uh, a large green day and uh, we're pretty near the, the high of the day. And so what that's saying is that from the low to the high would be 100%, and we've retraced 79%, and that's where we closed for the day. Um, <clears throat> and you can see that uh, earlier in the day, say uh, you know, around 12.30 here, uh, we would have been nearing the high of the day here. We got to the high of the day in this range here. And so the, the reclimb indicator at that point would have been showing, you know, like 90% or something like that of this high right here. That, uh, so we had the range, the open, the low, the high, and then we, we came down, came down again, and started retracing, reclimbing back up toward that high. And so we were pretty close to that high here. And if you had, you know, been watching this and trying to find a... Um, uh, you know, a, uh, a high a day breakout, uh, this could have been a, a good location to go long here. Um, you know, you could have filtered this stock out and found something that was nearing the high of the day and uh, gone ahead and taken it long. Um, and you can see here that it did eventually break out of the high of the day and run up into the close before pulling back. Um, let's see another example here. Yeah, here's a good example of a high a day breakout. Um, so it closed just under the high of the day. Uh, it's like it's two percent below the very high is where it closed for the day. So it's like almost a shaved top. And um, so, but earlier in the day, it would have been showing, you know, perhaps ninety-five to ninety-eight percent right here. And so this would have been a good place to take a long uh, looking, you know, and expecting for that high a day breakout to uh, have some continuation. So this would have shown up on your list as like a 95 or a 98 over here, right about this time of the day. And uh, that would have given you a good uh, clue that, that that might have been a good uh, trade to take as a long uh, high a day breakout, late day breakout. And the same can be uh said for a early in the morning for a opening range breakout or something. You can, uh, you can use this indicator uh, to find those stocks that are nearing that the uh, high or the low of the daily range uh, so far for the day. And so you can sort this column. These are low numbers, 6%. That would be stocks that are trading within uh, uh, very close to the low of the day. So this one is currently at 6%. Uh, between the low and the high, it's reclimbed 6% of that distance. And uh, so here we have AKRX, and it's 
uh, at 38% right here of the daily range, which the lows down here, highs up here, and it's currently at about 38% of that uh, total range. So that's how this works. Uh, it's pretty simple, it, but it can be powerful and help you uh, sort through stocks quickly and find um, trade candidates based on where they are relative to their um, the extremes of their daily range. Uh, so you can find those late day breakouts or early um, opening range breakouts and so forth. Uh, so this will be available on the website. I'll put a link in the description. And if you have any questions, just let us know in the comments. Thanks.